Today we are going to see a new product called Forms to Notion. This product is going to help you connect Google Form with Notion. If you already love Notion and manage a lot of data using Notion tables, then this product is going to make life easier for you. Let's see a quick demo. The product has two features. You can embed your Google Form inside a Notion page. It can also store the responses collected by the Google Form and send it to your Notion table. Let's test it. Looks nice. Option to submit. The form data has reached the Notion table. This product is a Google Form add-on. Let's click here. Let's go ahead and install the add-on. Continue. After the authorization is done from Google, it will say that the add-on has been installed. Click on done. I've already created a Google form for my Notion table. This is the table into which I want to receive the data. I have three columns in my table, name, email, and mood. And I have the same questions in my Google form. I've already installed the add-on. I'm going to give it a reload. I see the add-ons option. I'll click on form to Notion, connect to Notion, Again, connect to Notion. You need to authorize Notion to connect with your Notion workspace. If I click on select pages, I'm going to select the table to which I need to send the form responses to and click on allow access. My table is selected. Now I'm going to map my question against the Notion column. I'm going to map name against the name question and how are you feeling today? I'm going to map against the mood, which is of select type. It says I need to create all options in the Notion column. This is important. If you're mapping against a column, which is of type select or multi-select, then it is important that you pre-populate the possible options. These are all the options that this particular multiple choice question has. You just need to create those entries in advance. Click on save. Connection saved. I'll test the form. Give some random data. Happy. Submit. If I check my Google form, I can see that the data has come in. So in one minute, you have connected your Google form to a Notion table. The second feature of this product is that you can embed Google Form right inside Notion. For example, if you are managing your company leads like this inside Notion and you want your employees to be able to submit a lead and have these two separate. Your CRM has to be accessed only by one set of team members and this should be a public page where anybody can come in and submit. Then all you need to do is go to your add-on, click on form to Notion, embed in Notion, copy the embed link, go to your Notion page and type in embed, paste the link, give it a minute and you can drag the width and height of the form as you see fit. Now you have a public Notion page where anybody can submit a lead. All you need to do is create a Google form that matches the questions of your Notion table. What are some of the other use cases? If you already use Notion to track bugs in your project or collect feedback from your users, you know, manage job applications or run a community wiki, product roadmap, then using the add-on, it's easy to create a Google form to accept data and automatically add entries to these Notion tables. If you're using the embed feature, you could run internal polls, do queues with Google Forms. If you have website pages that are created using Notion, you can actually add a contactors form powered by Google Form. Form to Notion is a simple to use product that can help you save time and be more productive with Notion.